There are a lot of new technologies being implemented in fields beyond their own, and one of the most prominent is data mining. The applications of the technology make it an invaluable tool in many industries, and the purpose of this video is to talk about why that is, specifically in the medical field. But before we delve into that, what is data mining? There is a lot more involved than what the name may suggest. However, at a surface level, it is all about finding important information, patterns, and trends in vast quantities of data. The formal definition is that data mining is the practice of examining large databases in order to generate new information. With that being known, let's discuss some uses for data mining. One place where data mining is very prominent is in the financial world. The data found in the banking and financial world is usually pretty reliable and very thorough, so it is prime data to be used for data mining. The typical uses for it in this industry include loan payment prediction, customer credit policy analysis, grouping of customers for optimized targeted marketing, and detection of money laundering or other similar crimes. Another place where data mining is very prominent is in the retail industry. Data mining is useful because businesses collect large amounts of data from sales, purchases, returns, transportation, and many other relevant metrics. These metrics can all be analyzed for patterns and trends that lead to better advertising, product placement, customer service, and product retention and satisfaction. Basically, it allows the retail business to see what's working and what's not and make changes accordingly. Intrusion detection refers more to unwanted network intrusion than physical intrusion. Data mining allows for the creation of intrusion detection algorithms that know historical hacking patterns and signs and build on those to predict when and where it'll happen again, preventing them before they happen. Medicine, however, is the focal point of this video since it is a field where data mining has great potential to revolutionize it. However, more research is necessary before it can become the standard. To really see how data mining can play into the medical field and change how the system works, let's compare how a doctor approaches a patient interaction to how a program would. Currently, doctors are in control of most of the patient interaction and diagnosis process. Doctors receive patients, look at some basic patient history, ask questions to evaluate symptoms, and give a diagnosis based on how patient symptoms line up with common symptoms of different diseases and conditions. They have formal training in medical school, which means they have at least eight years or more of prior experience studying diseases and conditions. They can do this pretty much anywhere they can live, and doctors can easily travel to poorer regions to spread awareness and treat patients through programs such as Doctors Without Borders. There are no software maintenance or electricity requirements. Finally, perhaps the most important distinguishing factor is the personal human aspect. Doctors have intuition, feeling, a way to make certain judgment calls based on their human experience that no program can replicate. Additionally, this human aspect usually puts patients at ease since people typically trust other people more than programs to treat them. On the other hand, let's look at what a data mining computer program could do in the medical field. Instead of simply drawing on prior experience and simple metrics, a program can access vast quantities of information from huge databases of medical records from specific areas or even on a global level. Additionally, since it is a program, it can make consistent, unbiased decisions without other personal factors contributing to it. This distinguishing factor is an advantage to both parties since sometimes judgment calls need to be made when in other cases it's best to go off of years of previous outcomes despite what it may seem like. There are many cases in which patient symptoms may line up with some condition. However, looking at previous trends, it is possible to detect some condition that is less likely or more rare that a doctor would most likely not have been exposed to or guess upon first look. So both sides have their own strengths, but the best solution is for doctors to utilize these programs in order to make the best decisions possible, but still leave some room for their own judgment when necessary. This leaves doctors as the face of the patient interaction process, with the data mining program backing them up by supporting their choices with solid historical data. For these reasons, it will be incredibly beneficial for the university to begin investing in data mining development and technology by utilizing the ICDS already on campus. 
Purdue is known for pushing the bounds of our scientific and technological limitations, and it has the engineers, scientists, and scholars necessary to develop exceptional software and methods to accomplish this task. Data mining in the medical field will allow Purdue to remain amongst the top public universities as well as pave the way for a more efficient and sophisticated medical paradigm. So there you have it. You now know more about what data mining is and how it is a crucial part of furthering different fields and industries. Additionally, you know that it would greatly benefit the field of medicine, and that's why Purdue University, or any other research institution for that matter, should fund more research into creating better and more sophisticated data mining processes. Whether you are interested in computer science, engineering, medicine, or business, data mining is something that will play a role in shaping its future.